Blessings, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having a beautiful day in the name of Jesus. I am going to read today's devotional for you all for today, Shelter from the Storm. I was not able to upload the other video devotionals. I think we missing probably about like three or four, but I'm going to upload them on one video or something. So you all can just have it just in case you want to go back and look at it. In Psalm 91, verses 1, NIV version, it says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Almighty. This is Psalm 91. I meditate on this entire scriptures, all these scriptures, and I read this prayer every single day. I pray it every single day for the last couple of years. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 3 and 4. He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the daily pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. This is in the ESV version. I like the New King James version of this prayer. This is the one that I, you know, I say every day. So you all should meditate on that prayer every day. I believe I have listed on a community page once before, months ago. Psalm 61 verses 3 through 4 New King James Version You have been a shelter for me a strong tower from the enemy I will abide in your tabernacle forever I will trust in the shelter of your wings. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Proverbs 30, verses 5, ESV version. And the devotional read, I'm going to read the devotional. Then there is three more scriptures I want to read to you all. In the middle of a storm, people will frantically, frantically run around trying to find safety, shelter, and protection from danger. In life, there are dangers that seem like massive storms, and you tend to wonder how you will survive it. Read his word, meditate on it, pray and thank him that the waves become relatively smaller compared to the great God under whose wings you can find shelter and comfort. So every word that we read in the Bible, every scripture, we should be meditate on it. We should get it down in our spirit. And so when things come up like a storm or whatever, Whatever come up in your life, you will have the scripture that you will already have in your heart that you could just say and meditate on it. So that is the good thing about meditating God's word on God's word. In Joshua 1 and 8, God tells us to meditate on his word day and night in the name of Jesus. Psalm 71 verses 3, NLT version, be my rock of safety where I can always hide. Give the order to save me, for you are my rock and fortress. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. He is my refuge, my savior, the one who saves me from violence. Second Samuel 22 verses 3, NLT version. You have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. For the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Isaiah 25, 25 verses 4, New King James Version. So we need to always remember that God is our shelter in our storms. That is who we run to. We run to God. We don't run away from God during our storms. We don't hide from God. We run to God because God is the only one that can protect us from any storm. God is the only one. Always remember that. Seek God face first and run to God when you are going through any storm, even when you are not going through a storm. We are to run to God every day. We are to shelter ourselves in God every day of our lives in the name of Jesus. Blessings. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Blessings.